How do you map your progress? The first sign of progress on the path of discipleship and meditation is your growing humility. I was thinking yesterday as I was working to fine-tune this lecture, I thought when I first took my first psychology class, I was an expert therapist. I caught everybody's Freudian slips. That was just Psych 101. Imagine what could happen to me after five years of training, right? Wow. I probably shut my mouth more after five years of training. My first history class that I took, I was so jazzed, I became an instant historian. I could instantly decipher everything that happened in the world in any country at any time. That's called an ignoramus. <laughs> the first leadership seminar that I attended in Sedona, I became an instant esoteric leader. Wow, I thought I could walk straight, powerful. It took many years of humiliation to teach me that leadership needs something totally different. See what I'm getting at? I took piano for a year, and I thought I knew all about music. I still can't read music, but at that point, I thought, I know all about music and how it should be done. I was such an expert. People take one book from the teaching or attend a class, all of a sudden, they understand cosmic consciousness, Christ consciousness. They know all about the cosmic magnet. They know all about God's will. They know all about how the seven rays work, all about astrology and astronomy. They could tell you everything that's happened to your karma from the minute you step in front of them. And they're such bores. Don't be like that. Remember, the more you talk, the less you know. Keep the mouth zipped. I used to think, why does my father never get excited about anything? I would tell him this, that, and the other is happening. He'd go, wonderful. When we were at gatherings, he would not talk. Why talk? We talk and talk and talk when we should be quiet, when we should have humility. We think we're experts when we don't know anything. So remember the time you took your first psych class and how you felt, the first book you read and what an expert you became, and have humility and don't be such an expert because people who go around being experts in everything are talking heads and they're nothing different than those, those news shows that we watch where people just give their opinions and, and opinions and opinions, and it's nothing but their physical, emotional, and lower mind talking and pontificating, and it means nothing. See, we don't want to be like that spiritually either. It's really sick to watch that. Listen to yourself, and don't criticize other people by your knowledge. I was catching everybody's Freudian slips, which meant I was judging all the time. Ooh, they had this problem. Ooh, they had that problem. How awful that is when people do that to you. I don't like it if somebody does it to me, so I can't do it to anybody else. Have compassion and understanding instead in your heart as you grow. And so one of the maps of your progress that you're going to watch is increased humility, increased reticence, increased silence. You don't have all the answers. Okay. I don't have all the answers. So if we go with humility, then we will develop in the expertise. And when that expertise is needed, believe me, life will put us in a place where your expertise will be exactly what's needed at that time. And you will be able to express it beautifully in a humble way, in a gracious way, in a detached way, and in a most beautiful, fitting way possible. That's what experts, trained people, People who know what to do, do. They're quiet. They take care of the business when it needs to be done in silence. So you're going to watch for that. You're going to have a different attitude about obstacles. You're going to have slowly increased joy, increased energy, increased <coughs> light. You're going to see those steps appearing in your life, and these are signs of your growth. Finally, what is going to happen when you go on a path of discipleship? Meditation is taking on that path slowly and, and sequentially. You are going to have these qualities 
that the Tibetan master talks about. And this is taken from Letters on Occult Meditation, pages 93 and 94. They are so beautiful. I'd like to read them to you. Slowly you will know yourself. You will know yourself and you will appreciate the journey that you've been on for all this time. Once you know yourself in truthfulness and humility, you will be able to help other people. Second, you will be able to proceed slowly and with caution at all times. You don't try to jam the teaching down other people's throats. You don't force. You know yourself and you also proceed with caution and balance and fairness. You study the causes and effects of everything. That means you are able to reach to the higher mind. You are able to go to where the thinker is. You're able to look at causes and you're able to take the impression coming from your solar angel and translate that. You have made that link possible. You cultivate the realization that eternity is forever. You have that long view of life. And whatever you build slowly will endure forever in your permanent atoms, in your chalice, in your permanent recordings. Whatever you build right now is going to endure forever. Nothing is ever lost. So you are going to aim at regularity where eventually you will be a walking, talking expression of light. That's regular beaming of the energy. There's nothing that stops it constantly going through you and expressing through you. You will realize that your spiritual work, the result will be seen in your exoteric life. You don't have to go around telling anyone that you are a disciple. By the fruits, you will be known. Isn't that beautiful? Show me is what that means. Show me by everything that you do, by your radiance, your beauty, the love that comes out of your heart, show me that you're doing the inner work. And there's inner work is going to always show on the outside. This is a beautiful statement. Remember that psychic phenomena are no indication of a successful following of meditation. Not a in good indication. The world will see the effects and be a better judge than the student himself. Above all, the master will know, for the results on causal levels will be apparent to him long before you know yourself. Isn't that beautiful? So, in summary, before we do our beautiful meditation, Pisces is about shining your light. That light is your essence, your knowledge, your understanding, your wisdom, and how you apply that wisdom to everyday situations. In order to do that, you're going to practice the meditation, practice of scientific meditation that I've outlined. If you want the tape or the video, we have it. You can read it in the book, The Science of Meditation. Practice that meditative work, serious study and serious thinking so, so that your life changes. And as your life changes, you will start having a different attitude about obstacles and your patience to see yourself through to the infinity. So you're going to eventually take on the idea that meditation is not something separate from you, but in every minute, every minute you are in meditation, just like your solar angel is in meditation every minute of your life. Isn't that beautiful? This is Gita Saradarian, and I would like to thank you for your interest in this video lecture. We have books, booklets, and spiritual study courses on this very topic. Please visit us at tsgfoundation.org for more information on all TSG Foundation products and services. Thank you.